Hey guys, I want to bring you another video. Uh, yesterday, if you're watching right now, uh, was Earth Day. I wanted to say Happy Earth Day. Um, definitely something uh, I wrote about la uh, this past Tuesday about how we could try to make Earth Day every day because just like how we recycle plastic paper and stuff like that uh, with our uh, recycling bins, depending on where you live, but here in Vegas, you do have your bins. Uh, when I lived in California, Oregon, Washington, they all had that too. So I would imagine all 50 states have that, but I, I've never lived in other states. So I'm just assuming at this point. Um, but going back to Earth Day, so um, as some of you guys know, if you uh, looked at my description in the videos that we, uh, we have like... Um, where we do e-waste and stuff like that for charities and stuff and so like whenever we do pickups we try to coordinate with our local customers here or if some of our customers uh ship out the stuff to us which is like if it's really small where it fits a usps flat rate box then uh we usually coordinate where who do they want to donate uh, out of the 21 charities that we usually could um, put that on there for them. So um, that, that was kind of something that most people don't know about e-waste because I, usually when I do some Uber Eats with my wife and kids, uh, we see in the, our neighborhoods and different neighborhoods that people still toss their e-waste uh, on the side of the garbage and stuff like that for um, the garbage man to pick up the next day. So again, the there's some bad things about it because if you put it in the landfill and big sakes uh, starts a fire, then that could be a big fire, which would be really hard to uh, put out. If it gets too hot because of the battery, it could explode, stuff like that. That's why you see those labels on there. So, again, um, part of that mindset or business was like, oh, maybe I could try and make a difference, especially for um, the future of my kids and stuff like that because like um if you're aware there is a place called garbage island um which is like between california and hawaii it's very big uh again you could see in my blog where it, it's as big as t uh, i think it's two times big than texas and three times bigger than um, france put together and it's growing every year so it, it, it's really crazy how how much it, gr it grows and so um usually all these parts and electronics you could actually recycle and reuse and repurpose or some people use it again um because i know as as american um i usually upgrade and stuff like that but i try to sell it or uh donate it or do something with it but not i it is like the last resort I usually try to put in the garbage, um, if anything. So the, if you could find anyone that's responsible or is able to recycle or use as much parts, that is very beneficial for the environment too. So I just thought uh, playing that out there, especially if you live in Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, um, you could email me in the contact information um, in the blog and then on the description in the video. And then also, again, if you have a lot of stuff, say your business or commercial, where it could fit into like cell phones, ink cartridges and stuff like that, um, and a small flat rate, I could even cover the um, shipping too. So again, because usually I have sources to, to be able to do something with that. So um, hopefully everyone is wanting to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Because I know like they said, like the next 15 years is gonna be critical um, because whether you believe in global warming or not or climate change and stuff like that, um, it's up to you. Um, it, it's, I, I kind of look at evidence or facts or whatever they present, like the ice caps melting and the water level rising and then you see all the garbage and the waste that's going out there even china st started not taking our garbage anymore or recycling so that 
just trying to be a part of the solution on that sense. And like I said, I've been doing that for a couple of years. Um, like I said, it, even if you're somewhere else, there are a lot of e-waste recyclers out there. So um, I'm not saying I'm the only one out there, but would appreciate if you are um, trying to do your part and make a difference that way. So uh, like I said, it's pretty easy. You could Google um, like e-waste in your city and then it should pop up uh, who, who's an e-waste recycler for you. Um, and if you do, just make sure that they are or you have to wipe your information on there usually. So, um, especially I try uh, say your cell phone or your laptop or anything like that. We try to do a full uh, sweep and wipe out as, if we're able to boot all that information. Uh, if not, sometimes we have to drill it or something like that. So that way people can't get your information too. So that's another tip that you want to protect yourself. So hopefully this uh, video was useful for you. Um, hopefully you are doing your e-waste recycling part because I know a lot of cities don't have like a separate bin or anything like that. Usually most people do their e-waste recycling when I would say New Year's when they're cleaning out for the new year and they got a lot of stuff from Christmas. Um, birthdays when they get their um, new gifts. Um, whenever they upgrade anything, and I would say spring clean, cleaning is when they when you usually have all this e-waste. So again, if you're in the area of Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, you could contact us um, and we could coordinate in that sense. But again, I do appreciate your time and hopefully again, you're able to do your part on e-waste and uh, make each Earth Day better and so again appreciate um watching if you haven't uh watched or sorry go ahead and hit that like button if you learned something new or like the video and then also if you haven't subscribed to our channel go ahead and subscribe to our channel i do appreciate all the support and love and then also um together we can build a better tomorrow thanks again